Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about use effect method in React JS. So I already opened some link so that uh, I can show you some examples whenever they are required, and you can just understand the whole things in a better way, right? And this is my output screen, uh, so that uh, whenever we will code here, I can show you some output, right? So uh, these are the points of our video. We will learn what is use effect why we use it, how we can use it, example, how we can use it with the states and props and I will provide you the answer uh, that I asked in the previous video as well as I will ask you one more question. You can attempt it in a comment box if you want and uh, this is my Instagram account, right? Now let's get started with the first point. What is use effect? Use effect basically a hook that can handle lifecycle methods inside a functional component. Right? Why in a functional component? Because we cannot use these lifecycle methods, these old lifecycle methods inside our functional component. This can only be used inside a class component. And use effect is a one and only solution for all these lifecycle method. Right? Uh, all right. So now you can ask that how it can handle all these lifecycle methods because it will automatically call whenever. Uh, our component is created whenever our co component is updated and whenever our component is removed from the DOM. All right, that's okay. Uh, but still, how we can um, uh, manage all these things? In this use effect method, we can put conditions like it will uh, only call. If we put, put the conditions, it can be called only on the component created. It can be called only on the uh, updated state and it can be called only on the updated props and, and there is a lots of condition that we can put here, right? And we can use how uh, whatever uh, the way we want to use. So now let's understand it with the example. All right. So as we know, our first phase of lifecycle method is mounting whenever our component is created, right? So now let's see how it can uh, automatically call whenever our component is created. But before we use, we must have to import it, right? So just use here use effect like this. And how we can use it? There is a two way to use. You can just simply use here react dot use effect like this, right? And uh, it it uh, it have uh, actually this is a function functional hook, right? And we can pass here. Uh, our company complete function here you can use it arrow function or uh, your simple function whatever you want else there's another way to use we can just remove it simply from here and uh, if we are just remove uh, imported from here like this then we can use it like this right and if this is not imported then we can put here react like react dot this right and but this is a better way we can just import it and uh, use effect and we can just simply okay so we don't need to this one just move a comma from here put here and let's remove from here right we can just use it like this also so i'm just going to make it console dot one and uh, let's write simply use here use effect and whenever we will refresh our uh, component like this then you can find that this is automatically calling that means this is actually working as an component did mount in a mounting way right and i just want to show you the official statement of a facebook tip here if you are familiar with the react class uh, methods you can think of use effect hook as a this component did mount component did update and component did mount is a combined right that means it can work alone uh, equal to the all these lifecycle methods right so here you can see that this is basically called here whenever our component is created so can we it will automatically called when state is updated yes i can show you just write here a button just put here update counter Right, so I just need a state here. That's why I'm just going to use here use uh, state 
like this right and uh, define a state like uh, sorry my bad const destruct our state uh, just put here count set count and uh, use state and just put here initial value like 0 to this state right and uh, just simply put here a uh, count so that we can just see the counter by default value it should be the by default value is in 0 and this is the output right and whenever I will uh, update it the updated value will be printed here so now just uh, let's click on it on click and uh, now what we can do we can just simply call here set count right and let me just put here one value now right and you will find that whenever I will click on it the state will be updated here like one and the use effect is actually called right so this is another way that uh, this uh, effect is again calling on uh, updating the things like if you have a props then it will uh, automatically call whenever our props is updated right so let me just show you more just simply put here count its current value plus one that means it will increase by one by one right and here you can find that this is the increment here you will find that it will be automatically update like this whenever we will click on it right so uh, this is uh, calling on a uh, on update also so uh, if we have a parent component and our uh, props is updating from the parent component this will be called automatically right so this is the way that how we can use a use effect all right so now we talk about the conditions how we can put the conditions for that i will make a separate video but i just want to give a hint about that so let's say if i just put here a blank array that means it will not going to update on any state and props update right it will be called only on whenever our component is created so let's say i just put here a count like this now it will only call whenever our count state will be updated right and i can put here more states like a count and if let's say have a name state and all then uh, it can just uh, update only on these conditions right and i will just explain all these things in the upcoming video uh, completely right so one more thing i just want to tell you that we can use more than one use effect in a single component also let's say use effect two. so why this is required so let's say i just want to update a i just want to uh, perform some work on uh, you can say that uh, whenever our component is updated and uh, some component whenever our state is updated and it will it will be only con called whenever component is created and it will be called whenever our uh, name state or let's say count state is created i will show you all these things in the upcoming videos right so for a moment i hope uh, you got my point if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget to like my uh, video also so in my previous video i asked that uh, can we use use effect inside a class component no we cannot use right and my another question is so can I uh, let's say I have another function here let's say function child like this or function hello right can I uh, use this use effect inside uh, this function you can attempt this question in a comment box if you want and please read about it right so thanks for watching this video